Hello YouTube, I'm back from Mexico, and I'm ready to resume where I left off, starting with something I've been wanting to cover that many YouTubers don't want to touch without losing a huge chunk of their ad revenue. But since I'm doing this for the art and always have done it for the art, and because I could, I could care less about the money. I'm basically the best guy for the job. Today, we're going to be talking about... Oh... Oh my. Patchouli oil? Entitlement? Poster board glue? Smooth hands? Hippies! Well, yes. That's right. Anyways, more specifically, the idea that we, natural born omnivorous predators, aren't somehow supposed to eat meat. And that we should just live off the land and eat grass tree bark and tofu, all of which are basically the same thing, because they just all taste the same. Okay, for one, I'm going to settle this meat-eating is evil issue once and for all. For one, millions, if not billions of people rely on raising and earn harvesting of livestock for their very livelihoods and survival, since they live in primarily agrarian third world countries with little other work opportunities, not to mention the current ranching and farm families who rely on livestock for their livelihoods here in the States every single day. And they're already taxed enough as is. And it's such a shame that what little livestock the people in the third world have are constantly being ravaged by AIDS and <laughs> cow disease. If you truly cared about the well-being of animals, wouldn't it be prudent to make sure they don't die easily preventable, slow, and painful deaths from easily preventable diseases rather than painlessly and humanely sacrificing them to sustain the nutritional needs of a nuclear family? Of course you don't. You don't put much effort into anything because you are hippies. Thirdly, you simply get a better bang for your buck and caloric intake with eating meat than you do eating just plant matter. I mean, take me for example. I have a super fast metabolism. There is no way in hell I could possibly sustain a healthy body weight eating nothing but fruits and vegetables compared to the greater caloric density that's in meat. I literally need to eat meat to survive here. There's only so much room in your stomach, and my family has even threatened to put me on feeding tubes simply because I'm not eating enough meat as is. Of course, you don't care if I die of starvation to satisfy your self-righteous vindication, because you are, you guessed it. Not only that, but having a meat-eating diet simply is far cheaper because of this. Spending, would you rather spend $5 on a value meal at McDonald's that can satisfy caloric in intake for half the day compared to blowing $25 plus dollars on organic tofu substitutes that uh, could have been spent towards actually improving your quality of life and lifting yourself out of poverty? But you don't care if people struggle financially, just so long as your sacred cows are safe. Because, you guessed it, you are a bunch of... <laughs> Lastly, this is... The best point for the last is that there are compounds in soy, I'm not kidding you, that can actually harm your body and kill your testosterone. Soy has been proven and known to contain high amounts of goitrogens, which are compounds which are known to speed up your metabolism even further. So the idea of gaining a healthy weight with soy, given I'm already pretty much underweight, would be impossible it would only make me lose even more weight. Especially when you have a super fast metabolism such as I. Also, something of note is, and you may find it surprising, but soy contains estrogen. <laughs> and I am not joking here when I'm saying that soy turns you into a pussy. But you people could care less about being a bunch of spineless sissies, cause HIPPIES! Wow, didn't even let me finish my sentence that time there, Mr. Hale. Now, with all that said, I can continue the offer even more reasons why veganism is more destructive to the environment than 
usual normal balanced diet, but I'm feeling merciful after my little mm, vacation in Mexico. Anyways, I hope all of you who aren't screaming at me about how much of a white supremacist sexist male I am, I wish the more sensible of you out there to stay safe and I have a balanced diet with me and I wish everyone a better tomorrow. Gott mit uns.